Sorry, Zebra. The postman stalked her. Mr. Zebra the postman is delivering a letter to Peppa's house. Zoe Zebra is with her daddy today. She has her own letters to deliver. Hmm. Danny Dog, Susie Sheep, Rebecca Rabbit. Ah, oh, Peppa and George. Just these ones left. Good. Let's get them delivered. Yes, Dad. <laughs> Peppa and George love it when the post arrives. We've got two letters. This one's for Daddy Pig. How exciting! Dear Mr. Pig, please pay your telephone bill. Oh. What's a bill? It sounds very boring. <laughs> Bills are very boring. Mummy, is the other letter for you? No, this one's for. Peppa and George. Wow! A letter for George and me. Please come to my birthday party. Love, Zoe Zebra. Zoe Zebra has invited Peppa and George to her birthday party. Yippee! <laughs> you need to write a reply to Zoe to tell her you are coming to her party. Can you help us write it, Mummy? Of course. Peppa and George are writing a reply to Zoe. What would you like to say? Dear Zoe. Dear Zoe. Um, I don't know what to say next. How about we would love to come to your party? Kind regards, Peppa and George. <laughs> what colour envelope shall we use? The red one. Miss Zoe Zebra. And last of all, the stamp. <laughs> the letter is ready to be posted. This is the post box. Here are Danny, Susie, Pedro, Rebecca, and Emily Elephant. They are all posting letters. And here is Peppa with her letter. There. Now what happens? Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. Did you get my letter about my party? Yes. And I've written you a reply. Oh, goody! My goodness, so many letters today. And this letter is mine. It is very, very important. Is it for me? Can I open it now? It is for you, Zoe. But it must be delivered before you can open it. That's how the post works. Oh. And with so many letters to deliver today, I'd better make a start. Can George and I come along too? Hop aboard, Peppa and George. <laughs> See you later. Peppa and George are helping Mr. Zebra deliver the post. This is Zoe Zebra's house. This letter is addressed to Miss Zoe Zebra. Miss Zoe Zebra. Zoe Zebra. Zoe Zebra. Zoe Zebra. Oh, all the post is for Zoe. That's my letter. Can I post it? Certainly. <laughs> Peppa loves posting letters. Mummy, look. All these letters are for me. Oh, amazing. Can you read it, Mummy? Dear Zoe, I would love to come to your party from Danny Dog. Susie Sheep's coming to your party too. And Rebecca, Pedro, Emily, Candy, they're all coming to your party. And this letter is from me. It says, we are coming to your party. Love and kisses, Peppa and George. <laughs> Everyone has arrived for Zoe's party. Happy birthday, Zoe. Wow, so many presents. You'll be writing lots of thank you letters, Zoe. <sighs> And who's going to deliver all those thank you letters? You are, Daddy. <laughs> but I can help. <laughs> painting. Peppa and George are painting today. We need some old newspaper to put on the table. Yes! <coughs> Daddy Pig is reading his newspaper. You can have my newspaper when I've finished reading it. <laughs> All right. Hooray! <laughs> now we can start painting. Silly! 
Silly George. Big children do not put their hands in the paint. <laughs> George loves painting with his hands. <laughs> Pepper loves painting with her hands. <laughs> Very good. Can I have a potato, Mummy Pig? They aren't cooked yet, Daddy Pig. Are you hungry, Daddy? I'm not going to eat it. Watch this. What is Daddy Pig doing? Ooh. Now who can tell me what this is? A flower. <laughs> <laughs> Clever Daddy. Oh, 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 I loved painting when I was a young piggy. Now where are my old painting things? <laughs> Daddy. Why are you wearing that funny hat? Oh, oh, oh. This is my beret. It puts me in the mood for painting pictures. Now, what shall I paint? <laughs> well chosen, George. I'll paint the old cherry tree. What's that? It's an easel, Pepper. It holds my canvas. What's a canvas? It's a bit like paper for very special paintings. Is that toothpaste? Oh, oh no, Pepper. These are special paints for grown-up artists. There. What colour shall we begin with? Red, please. Why red, Pepper? Red is my favourite colour. But first, we need to paint the sky. Look. What colour is it? Blue, of course. Very good. Let's start with blue. <laughs> now for the cherry tree. We need green for the leaves. But there isn't any green. Never mind. If we mix blue paint with yellow paint, we can make green. Mixing blue and yellow makes green. Ooh. What lovely green leaves. And here's some grass. What about the branches? We haven't got brown paint. We can make brown. We'll mix the green and the red. Mixing green and red makes brown. Ooh. Daddy Pig paints the tree trunk and the branches. Wow! <laughs> Daddy, can I paint the cherries? Yes, Pepper. Put your finger in the paint and dab it onto the tree. <laughs> One, two, three. Well done. Now it's George's turn. <laughs> what a great painter you are, George. <laughs> there, the painting is finished. Hooray! <laughs> oh, it's the ducks. Hello, Mrs. Duck. We're painting a picture. <laughs> the ducks are running through Daddy's paint. Shoo, shoo, naughty ducks. Shoo, ducks, shoo, stay away from our painting. <laughs> oh, no, the ducks have made paint footprints all over the painting. Oh, dear. What was all that noise? Mummy, the ducks have spoiled our painting. Hmm. Let me see. The ducks are making paint footprints in the garden, just like the ones on the painting. Daddy's painting isn't spoiled, Pepper. It's perfect. Hooray! Oh, yes. I am a bit of an expert at painting. And so are the ducks. <laughs> <laughs> Cuckoo clock. It is early morning. Mummy and Daddy Pig are still asleep. <laughs> wakey, wakey, Mummy and Daddy Pig! What? It's time to get up. It's much too early. Don't you know what time it is, Peppa? No, Daddy. Our clock doesn't work. Oh, dear. Let's see if we can mend it. Ah, the old cuckoo clock. Why is it called a cuckoo clock? There's a little wooden bird inside, called a cuckoo. I've never seen the cuckoo. That's because we stopped winding it a long time ago. The cuckoo got a bit annoying. Oh, can we wind it up again, please? All right. Daddy Pig is winding up the cuckoo clock. There. Daddy Pig sets the clock to the right time. It is nearly nine o'clock. 
Daddy, can we see the cuckoo now? <coughs> You'll see the cuckoo soon. What does she look like, Daddy? Now let me think. She moves her head like this. <laughs> and she flaps her wings like this. <laughs> and she says, Ahem, Cuckoo! <laughs> What a noisy little cuckoo you are, George. <laughs> Look, it's going to do something. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Silly George, you missed the cuckoo. <laughs> the cuckoo was really, really brilliant. She went cuckoo and you missed it. <laughs> Never mind, George. You can see Cuckoo next time. But you'll have to wait. Cuckoo only comes out once an hour. Waiting is boring. Come on, George. Let's play outside. George does not want to play outside. He is waiting to see Cuckoo. It is nearly ten o'clock. George has been waiting for Cuckoo for almost an hour. George, come and play. Mr. Dinosaur wants you to play too. Dinosaur. <laughs> George has missed Cuckoo again. <laughs> Never mind, George. Why don't you play in the garden? I'll call you when it's time to see Cuckoo. <laughs> to you, George. <laughs> It is nearly eleven o'clock. Peppa! <laughs> George! <laughs> Time to see Cuckoo! Quick, George! You can't miss Cuckoo again! George is running faster than he has ever run before. <laughs> George, did you see Cuckoo? Cuckoo! 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 Peppa and George love playing Cuckoos. It is night time. Pepper and George are very sleepy. Cuckoo. Pepper and George are asleep. Is it morning already? Uh, no. Time to sleep. Cuckoo is not very well. She just needs to sleep, like you and George. Good night. Good night, my little piggies. George, I know how to make Cuckoo better. We'll wind her up like Daddy did. <laughs> Mummy and Daddy are fast asleep. What? what? Mummy, Daddy, we've got something to show you. We've made Cuckoo better. <laughs> <laughs> Baby Piggy. Peppa and George are visiting their big cousin, Chloe. Today, as well as seeing Chloe, you are going to meet your new cousin. Ooh. Peppa and her family have arrived at Chloe's house. Hello. Hello, Hello everyone. Hello, Peppa and George. This is Chloe, Peppa and George's big cousin. But where's our new cousin? Here's your new baby cousin. Ooh. The new cousin is a tiny baby piggy. <coughs> oh, how beautiful. Is it a girl, baby? No, it's a boy. Oh, I wish it was a girl. Me too. <coughs> George is pleased the baby is a boy. Dinosaur. <coughs> I think the baby's too little to play with dinosaurs. George, the baby doesn't want to play with you. It wants to play with me. Pepper, the baby is much too little to play ball games. But if it can't play with a dinosaur or a ball, what can it do? It eats and it sleeps. <coughs> and it does that. <laughs> <laughs> Auntie Pig, can I hold the baby? Yes. If you're very careful, you can hold Alexander. Alexander? That's his name. Baby Alexander. What a big name for such a small piggy. It's 
quite nice, even though it's a boy. Goo goo goo. Oh, what's that smell? Maybe Alexander's nappy needs changing. Ugh, disgusting. Peppa, when you were a baby, you wore nappies. I did not. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, can I play with Peppa and George in the garden? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Chloe, is it nice having a little baby brother? Yes. Alexander is very sweet. I wish George was a sweet little baby piggy. I know. George can pretend to be a baby piggy. He can go in my doll's pram. That's a good idea. No. George does not want to be a baby. George, if you pretend to be a baby, I promise to be nice to you forever and ever. George is thinking. And you can play with all my toys. George is thinking more. And when we get home, you can play with all my toys. <laughs> George has decided. Goo, goo, goo. What a sweet baby piggy! <laughs> Here are Candy Cat, Susie Sheep, Rebecca Rabbit, and Zoe Zebra. Hello. <laughs> Why is George in that doll's pram? It's not George. It's a baby piggy. Goo goo. But it is George. George is a pretend baby piggy. Ah! Is it a girl or a boy? It's a girl. No. George does not want to be a girl, baby. Okay, it's a boy. <laughs> I've got some cookies. Would the baby piggy like one? Oh no, it can't eat cookies. <laughs> George likes cookies. Maybe it can have one cookie. <laughs> goo goo. It's so clever and so handsome. <laughs> <laughs> it's very funny. It's the best baby piggy ever. George likes this game. <laughs> Here is Auntie Pig with baby Alexander. Wow, a proper real baby piggy. <laughs> it's, it's so gorgeous. gorgeous. It's much sweeter than George. Oh dear, George liked being the baby piggy. Oh George, you'll always be my baby piggy. <laughs> Maybe it's time for a new game. How about some dinosaur chasing? <laughs> Eat the <too> scary! <laughs> George liked being a baby piggy, but he likes being George more. Peppa and George have come to play in Granny and Grandpa's garden. What's that noise? Grandpa's making something. Hello, Peppa and George. That's perfect timing. I've just finished making it. And may we ask what it is? <laughs> I'll show you. Wow! A little toy train. It's not a toy. This is Gertrude. She's a miniature locomotive. But doesn't it need railway tracks to run on? Oh, no. I fitted Gertrude with car wheels so she can go anywhere she likes. Grandpa, can we ride in Gertrude? Hop aboard. <laughs> Full steam ahead. Bye-bye, Granny. See you later. Peppa and George love Grandpa's little train. <laughs> Here is Grandad Dog with Danny Dog. Hello. Hello, Danny. I see you're playing toy trains. Toy? Gertrude isn't a toy. How's your little lorry? Little lorry? My breakdown truck is a proper work vehicle. Grandad, can I ride on the train? Hmm, it's your choice, Danny. If you'd rather play trains than... Thanks, Grandad. <laughs> See you later. Miss 
rabbit is driving the school bus. And to our left, we can see some hills with trees. Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. All Peppa's friends are here. Can we ride on the train? Um, I'm giving the children an educational bus tour. Are trains educational? They certainly are. Uh, hands up, all those who want to ride on the train. Me, me! And hands up, all those who want to stay on the bus. OK. You can all go on the train, and I'll follow along behind. <laughs> What a lot of mud. We don't want to get stuck. Maybe we should go a different way. It's only a patch of mud. Come on, Gertrude. You can make it. Come on, Buff. You can make it. The bus is stuck in the mud. Oh, bother. Hello, Miss Rabbit. How are you today? I'm a bit stuck. Can you rescue me? Certainly. Is your truck strong enough? Trust me. Did it work? Uh, no. We need a vehicle with more power. Can I help in any way? Uh, it's nothing that I can't deal with. Uh, thanks, anyway. I've got an idea. Grandpa Pig's train can tow me out of the mud. Uh... Good thinking, Miss Rabbit. Grandpa's little train is going to pull the bus out of the mud. Full steam. Come on, Gertrude. Come on, Gertrude. Oh, well done. It's amazing what can be done by a toy train. Toy? Gertrude isn't a toy. Gertrude is the very best train in the whole world. <laughs> the cycle ride. It is a lovely sunny day. Peppa and George are finishing their breakfast. Today is a good day for a cycle ride. A cycle ride. Yippee! <laughs> Peppa and George love cycle rides. Peppa has her bicycle. George has his tricycle. Mummy and Daddy have their tandem. What's that? It's our bicycle. <laughs> I sit at the front and Mummy Pig sits at the back. And we can put these two seats on the back for Peppa and George. But we want to ride our own bicycles. George is a bit too little. His legs will get very tired. But I'm a big girl. I won't get tired. It will be a long cycle ride, Peppa. Are you sure? Yes, Daddy. I'm sure. OK. Are we all ready? Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. Then let's go. Whee! I'm winning. It's not a race, Peppa. It's just a gentle bicycle ride. Yes, Daddy. But I'm still winning. <laughs> 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 now we're winning. <laughs> I don't like cycling uphill. Peppa, we won the race. No, you didn't, Daddy, because I wasn't racing that time. But now I am. <laughs> Can't catch me. <laughs> you cheeky little piggy. <laughs> Hello, Duck. We're having a cycle ride. <laughs> Hello, Doc. <sighs> I'd forgotten how much I love cycling. <sighs> oh, I'd forgotten how much I hate cycling up hills. The ground is getting quite steep. <sighs> I don't like cycling up hills. But look at the beautiful view. My... Goodness, this is hard work. Mummy Pig, you're not peddling. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Daddy Pig. I was just enjoying the view. <laughs> Peppa and her family have reached the top of the hill. <laughs> All Peppa's friends are here. Hello, Peppa. Hello. We're going.
going to have a race on our bikes. <laughs> Peppa, do you want to race too? <laughs> OK, as long as we can race downhill. OK. <laughs> Peppa and her friends are going to race down the hill. Are you all ready? Ready! You can start when I honk the horn, like this. Woo! Pedro has set off too soon. Stop, Pedro! The race hasn't started yet. Sorry, Mr. Pig. I was just letting you know that the horn sounded like this. Woo! Stop! Stop! Sorry, Pedro. That time it was my fault. The next time I honk the horn, you can go. Did he say go? I think so. Go, 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 go. go on, Peppa. But, Daddy, you didn't honk the horn. Danny Dog is in the lead. Wait for me. Whee! I win. Well done, Peppa. Yes. I'm very good at cycling downhill. <laughs> it is home time for Peppa's friend. Bye-bye, Peppa. Bye. Home time for us too, Peppa. Mummy, I'm tired. All the cycling up and down hills has made my legs tired. Can I ride on your bike? But where will Daddy Pig sit? Um... Daddy can ride my bike. It's very nice. Oh, OK. <laughs> I love the tandem. Daddy, do you like my bike? Yes, Peppa. It's very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and her family are going ice skating today. This will be fun. Peppa and George have never been ice skating before. Now, George, you won't be very good at ice skating, so just do what I do. <laughs> I'm sure we'll all be very good. Yes, especially me. <laughs> First, we need some skates. At the ice rink, everyone wears skates. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello, Mummy Pig. We'd like to hire some skates, please. There you go. Thank, Thank you. you. Happy skating. <laughs> Here are Susie Sheep, Rebecca Rabbit, Danny Dog, Zoe Zebra, Candy Cat, Emily Elephant and Pedro Pony. <laughs> Peppa's friends can ice skate very well. <laughs> Peppa wants to ice skate too. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa. <laughs> Is this your first time skating? Yes. Shall I show you how to skate? No, thank you, Susie. I'm sure I can already do it. OK, come on then. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> this is impossible. I don't want to do ice skating anymore. Don't worry, Peppa. Everyone falls over when they ice skate. Even I fall over. Watch this. Oops-a-daisy. Ho-ho. Silly Daddy. <laughs> George, would you like to skate? No. George has never ice skated before, and he is a bit worried. I'll look after George while you teach Peppa how to skate. Skating is easy, Peppa. Just push with your feet and glide. Push, push, glide. See? Push, push, glide. Push, push, glide. <laughs> this is easy. I can do it on my own now, Mummy. <laughs> push, push, glide. Push, push, glide. Well done, Peppa. <laughs> Look at me! I'm skating! Peppa is doing really well. Yes, I'm a very good teacher. <laughs> Slow down, Peppa. You'll bump into someone. Don't worry, Mummy. I'm very good at skating. Oh, where are the brakes? Oh, dear. I forgot to teach Peppa how to stop. Oh. I can't stop! Look out! <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig taught you how to skate, 
But I taught you how to fall over. Yes, I'm very good at falling over. <laughs> George, do you want to skate too? No. Come on, George. It's fun. I'll teach you. Hit him. First, you need to... Whee! George, come back. I'm teaching you how to ice skate. <laughs> what a surprise! George can skate beautifully. Wow! Look at George! <laughs> Very good, George. Now you need to learn how to stop. <laughs> well done, George. You're fantastic, George. Yes. You did very well, George, for your first lesson. Oh. <laughs> Come on, let's skate. Yes! <laughs> Peppa and George love ice skating. Everyone loves ice skating. Mummy and Daddy taught me how to skate, but I taught George. <laughs> <laughs> The dentist. Every morning, Peppa and George brush their teeth. <laughs> Today, Peppa and George are going to the dentist. Peppa, George, are you ready to go for your checkup? I'm too busy for a checkup. I'm having a tea party with Teddy. Yes, we're very busy. We all need checkups to make sure our teeth are clean and healthy. Okay, Daddy. George, are your teeth clean like mine? It is George's first visit to the dentist. You both have lovely clean teeth. I'm sure the dentist will be very happy. <laughs> Pepper and George are at the dentist's, waiting for their checkup. Uh, waiting is boring. This magazine's very interesting. It's all about potatoes. <sighs> Uh. Peppa, George, the dentist will see you now. Hooray! <laughs> this is Dr. Elephant, the dentist. Hello, Peppa. Have you been brushing your teeth? Yes, Dr. Elephant. Good. Now, who's first? I'm first because I'm a big girl. Watch me, George. Sit in the chair, please. <laughs> Hold tight. Whee! <laughs> Open wide, please. Ah. Wider, please. Ah. Now, let's take a look. Dr. Elephant uses a little mirror to look at Peppa's teeth. I hope you haven't been eating too many sweeties, Peppa. <laughs> it is quite difficult to speak when your mouth is wide open. <laughs> there, all done. What lovely clean teeth. She takes after me. <laughs> Can I have the special pink drink now? Yes, but don't drink it, Peppa. Spit it out. <laughs> George, now it's your turn. No. George does not want it to be his turn. Maybe you can hold Mr. Dinosaur while the dentist looks at your teeth. <laughs> Grrr, dinosaur. <laughs> Very pleased to meet you, Mr. Dinosaur. It's not a real dinosaur. It's made of plastic. <laughs> Hold tight. You're doing very well, George. Now, can you show me your teeth? George does not want to show the dentist his teeth. George, open wide like this. Ah! All done. You have very strong, clean teeth, George. Are they as lovely as mine, Dr. Elephant? Ah! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> George is very proud to have clean teeth. George, don't forget the pink drink. <laughs> oh, but wait! What's this? What's wrong, Dr. Elephant? George has clean teeth, but this young dinosaur's teeth are very dirty. 
Oh, no. Dr Elephant is very cross with Mr Dinosaur. <laughs> Not at all, Pepper. It's my job to make teeth clean. The water jet, please, Miss Rabbit. The dentist uses water to clean Mr Dinosaur's teeth. The polisher, please, Miss Rabbit. This will be a bit noisy. Dr Elephant polishes Mr Dinosaur's teeth. Pink, pink. That's right, George. Mr. Dinosaur needs some special pink drink. Gosh! What shiny teeth you have, Mr. Dinosaur! <laughs> Dinosaur! <Hey>! Too scary! <laughs> George loves Mr. Dinosaur, especially now he has nice clean teeth. <laughs> Dan. Peppa and George are in Granny and Grandpa Pig's garden. They're going to play in their treehouse. Peppa and George love their treehouse. Here are Peppa and George's friends, Zoe, Susie, Rebecca and Richard. I like your treehouse, Peppa. Can we come in? Yes. <laughs> Now we can have a tea party. <laughs> Here are Pedro and Danny. Nay. Hello, Peppa. Well, can we come in? Sorry, Danny. Only girls can come into the treehouse. Boys are a bit noisy. They always spoil the tea parties. But George and Richard are boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Sorry, George. This tree house is for girls only. What's wrong? The girls won't let us into the tree house. Well, it isn't fair. Ho oh, ho, I think I can help. Come over here. Now we can have a nice quiet tea party. <laughs> <laughs> What's that noise? There. Now you boys have your very own den with its very own drawbridge. <laughs> A castle. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. Can we come in? No. This is a boys' den for boys only. But I love castles. Castles aren't as good as tree houses. Come on, girls. I'm the king of the castle. <laughs> Every castle needs a flag. Wow. They've got a flag. We don't need a silly flag. Here is Granny Pig. Hello, girls. Can I get you anything? A flag, please. And it must be better than the boys' flag. I'll see what I can do. I'm the king of the castle. Ho, ho! Every castle needs a telephone. Hold this. Keep this string nice and tight and you can talk to the boys. We don't want to talk to the boys. We don't want to talk to the girls. <coughs> Granny Pig has found a flag for the girls' den. This dress will make a pretty flag. Thank you, Granny. It isn't as good as the boys' flag. I wish we were in the castle. Fairy princesses live in castles. If I were a fairy princess, I would live in a tree house. Can we come over, please? Only if you say the castle is the best. It is the best. <laughs> I'm staying in my tree house. <laughs> I love the castle. <laughs> oh dear, it is raining and the castle has no roof. Let's go to the tree house. No, I'll never leave my castle. <laughs> The rain has stopped. <laughs> George has found a muddy puddle. That looks fun. 
<laughs> I'm staying in my castle. I'm staying in my tree house. Ho oh, oh. ho! I'll look after your castle, Daddy. I'll look after your tree house, Peppa. <laughs> Peppa and Danny love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles, whether they are girls or boys. Pretend friend. Susie Sheep has come to play with Peppa. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. <laughs> this is my new friend, Leo Lion. Where is he? There's no one there. Susie has made up a pretend friend. Can't you see him, Peppa? Um. <laughs> Let's play catch. Okay. To you, Leo. Peppa throws the ball to Susie's pretend friend. Leo can't catch the ball. He can. He just doesn't like playing catch. What does Leo like doing? He likes to roar. Is he going to roar now? Um. Yes. <coughs> Rah! Wasn't that you? No, that was Leo. Ah. Hello, Leo. Peppa pretends that she can see Leo Lion. Leo, will you be my friend too? What did he say? He's nodding his head. That means yes. <laughs> Peppa, Susie, would you like to come inside and have some fruit cake? <laughs> Mummy Pig has two slices of fruit cake for Susie and Peppa. Mummy, Susie's got a pretend friend. He's called Leo Lion. I see. And does he like fruit cake too? Rah! Leo loves fruit cake. Don't be silly, Peppa. That wasn't Leo. That was you. Leo prefers chocolate cake. I haven't got chocolate cake. Will Leo have some fruit cake? He will try a little slice. Mummy Pig gives some cake to Susie's pretend friend. George is playing with Mr. Dinosaur. Dinosaur. George, you're sitting on Leo. George does not know that Susie has a pretend friend. Um. Leo Lion says he can't finish his cake, so George can have it. <laughs> <laughs> can we play upstairs now? Yes, let's play dressing up. I was asking Leo. Oh, rah! Leo says he likes playing dressing up. Good. Come on, Leo. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are playing dressing up. Peppa is going to be a fairy. I grant you one wish. My wish is to be Queen Susie, and Leo Lion will be the jester. He doesn't want to be the jester. He wants to be the king. Here is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Mummy Pig tells me you have a very special visitor. It's only Susie, Daddy. Are you sure there isn't someone else, Peppa? Someone else, King Leo Lion. Rah! Oh, <laughs> it's an honour to meet you, King Leo. Daddy Pig pretends he can see King Leo. May I say what a fine golden mane you have? Yes, it is very fine, and he is wearing his best red trousers. Oh yes. And his blue jumper. Silly Pepper. Leo isn't wearing a blue jumper. He's wearing his best green shirt. Well, it is sort of a bluey green. <laughs> Peppa, Susie, your friends are here. Peppa's friends are here. They're all wearing their boots. Let's jump in muddy puddles. Yes. <laughs> are you sure Leo should jump in puddles without his boots? Oh, I forgot. Leo's wearing his boots as well. <laughs> Look at Leo. He's jumping up and down too. <laughs> Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Even pretend friends. <laughs> <laughs> School bus <trip. laughs>
Peppa and her friends are going on a school bus trip. Children, <laughs> children, attention, please. Let's check that you are all here. Peppa and George here. <coughs> Rebecca and Richard Rabbit here. <coughs> Susie Sheep here. <laughs> Zoe Zebra here. Danny Dog here. <laughs> Emily Elephant here. <laughs> Pedro Pony. Pedro Pony is not here. <laughs> Sorry, we're late. Pedro, you almost missed the school trip. Sorry, Madam Gazelle. Never mind. You're just in time. All aboard! Nay. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is the bus driver. Full steam ahead. See you later. <laughs> Children, attention, please. Today we are going on a trip to the mountains. Hooray! Have you all got your lunch boxes? Yes, yes Madam Gazelle. Madam Gazelle, please, can we eat our lunch now? Peppa, we'll eat lunch when we arrive in the mountains. Peppa, what have you got in your lunchbox? A red apple. I've got a green apple. Let's swap. Okay. <laughs> Peppa, Susie, what are you doing? Susie told me to open my lunchbox. Peppa told me to swap our apples. Oh, that's fine. But please, save some food for the picnic. Yes, Madam Gazelle. <laughs> the bus has arrived at the foot of the mountains. The mountain road is very steep. Come on, bus. You can make it. Come on, bus. Hooray! <laughs> Peppa and her friends are at the top of the mountain. Look at the view! Wow! 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 Who said that? It's your echo. What's my echo? An echo is the sound you hear when you speak loudly in the mountains, like this. Your leg. Your leg. Your leg. Hit him! Your leg. Your leg. <laughs> Echoes are fun. Time for our picnic. <laughs> Pepper loves picnics. Everyone loves picnics. Where are the ducks? They always turn up when we have picnics. Silly Pepper. Ducks don't live on top of mountains. Ah. Oh. Hello, Mrs. Duck. Would you like some bread? The ducks are very lucky today. There is lots of bread. The ducks are eating too quickly. Goodness me! <laughs> home time. All aboard. It's time to go home. Everybody has had a great time. <laughs> Let's all sing a song. Can we have the Bing Bong song, please? Oh, oh. please, please Madam, Madam Gazelle, sing, sing the Bing, Bing Bong song. All right. Ooh, we're playing a tune and we're singing a song with a Bing and a Bong and a Bing. Bong Bing Boo. Rebecca Rabbit. It is the end of another lovely day. Peppa and George are playing with their friends, Rebecca and Richard Rabbit. Home time, my little bunnies. Oh, but we want to play some more, Mummy. Maybe tomorrow. Can Peppa and George come to our house tomorrow? Yes. Hooray! <laughs> Why is Richard crying? He's a bit scared of going downstairs. Why? 
We don't have stairs in our home. What? No stairs? That's right. You'll see tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> It is morning. Peppa and George are going to Rebecca Rabbit's house today. <laughs> Mummy Pig can drive, and I'll do the map reading. Are you sure, Daddy Pig? We always get lost when you do the map reading. <laughs> We won't get lost. Okay. Is everybody ready? Yes, yes Mummy Pig. Pig. Then let's go. Peppa and George are very excited. They have never been to Rebecca Rabbit's house before. Daddy, are we nearly there? The map says Rebecca's house is on the next hill. I don't understand. This should be where Rebecca Rabbit lives. We must be lost. There's just this garden of carrots. Where can Rebecca Rabbit's house be? Squeak! Hello, everyone. Squeak! Squeak! <laughs> Rebecca, do you want to play in my bedroom? Your bedroom? But where is your house? Peppa cannot see Rebecca's house anywhere. This hill is our house. It's called the burrow. Ooh! I'll show you. See you later. See you later. <coughs> Come in. <coughs> <coughs> We don't have stairs. We have tunnels. Wow! Rebecca's house is a bit different to Peppa's. This is our bedroom. Wow! You have a bed. And a window and a toy box, just like us. Of course. <laughs> I like your house. I wish I was a rabbit. I know. Shall I teach you both how to be rabbits? Yes, please. <coughs> First, you have to twitch your nose and squeak like this. Squeak, squeak. Squeak, squeak. <laughs> Very good, Peppa Rabbit and George Rabbit. <laughs> Peppa likes being a rabbit. George likes being a rabbit. Rabbits like carrots. Delicious. Nom 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 nom. Delicious. Yuck. George does not like carrots. He won't even try them. Oh well, more for us then. <laughs> Rebecca, what else do rabbits like? Rabbits like hopping. Come outside. I'll show you. <laughs> Let's hop. Rabbits like hopping. You're very good, rabbit. Lunchtime, children. <laughs> Mummy and Daddy Rabbit have prepared lunch. Squeak. Rebecca has taught us how to be rabbits. Squeak, squeak. Ho oh, ho! You'll enjoy lunch then. It's our favourite, carrots. Delicious. Delicious. Yuck! George will not eat carrots. Oh dear, George! I thought you were a rabbit. Rabbits love carrots. Wow! George is eating a carrot. <laughs> And this is our favourite cake, carrot cake. Hooray! Mmm, carrot cake. <laughs> George is a proper rabbit now. <laughs> Nature trail. Today, Peppa and her family are driving out to the countryside. Daddy, what will we see in the countryside? We'll see birds and trees and flowers and bees. <laughs> Dinosaur. No, George. I don't think we'll see any dinosaurs. <laughs> This is the start of the nature trail. We're here. Hooray! <laughs> Daddy Pig, don't forget the picnic. Oh, <laughs> as if I would. Daddy. How do we know which way to go? Easy. The map says there should be a sign showing the start of the nature trail here. Well done, Daddy Pig. <laughs> oh dear, Daddy Pig has forgotten the picnic. Peppa, what interesting things can you see? Just trees and trees and more boring trees. <laughs> 
<laughs> Peppa, you're not looking hard enough. All right, I'll look really hard, and I still won't see anything. Oh, what's that? Peppa has found some footprints. Whose footprints are these? Dinosaur. Oh, George, they're not dinosaur footprints. Let's follow the footprints and see who made them. Yes. <coughs> Shh. We have to be very quiet so we don't scare anything away. Yes, Mummy. George. <laughs> Peppa and George are following the footprints. Look. The footprints were made by a little bird. She's flown into a tree. Where? Here, Peppa. Look through the binoculars. The binoculars make everything look bigger. I can see one, two, three baby birds. Ah! Oh, I wonder what they're eating. Yeah, they're eating worms. That's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> George has found more footprints. Ooh, what little footprints? The footprints are being made by ants. They're collecting leaves to eat. Are they going to have salad for lunch? <laughs> yes. Talking of lunch, let's have our picnic. Oh, the picnic! Daddy Pig, you've left the picnic in the car, haven't you? Uh, yes, but it's not a problem. We'll just go back to the car to eat. But which way is the car? My map will show us. This way. Oh, who put that tree there? It's not on the map. Oh, Daddy Pig, we're lost, aren't we? Uh, yes. How are we going to find our little car? <coughs> George has found more footprints. Ooh, what big footprints? Dinosaur. Very interesting. What? Has George found some real dinosaur footprints? No, these are our footprints. And if we follow our footprints, we'll find the way back to our car and our picnic. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Nothing can stop us finding our car now. We're home and dry. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Luckily, I remembered the umbrella. The rain is washing the footprints away. How are we going to find the car now? And our picnic. <laughs> It's the ducks. They always turn up at picnics. Sorry, Mrs. Duck. We haven't got a picnic this time. We can't find it. I know, Mrs. Duck. Can you help us find our picnic, please? <laughs> We're here! Hooray! Thank you, Mrs. Duck. <laughs> I love nature trails. Yes, and I love picnics. And the ducks love picnics. And the little birds love picnics. And the ants love picnics. Everybody loves picnics. <laughs> Pen pal. Peppa and her friends are at their playgroup. Children, who would like a pen pal? Me. What's a pen pal? A pen pal is a boy or girl you can write letters to. This little girl lives in France. Her name is Delphine Donkey. Can Delphine Donkey be my pen pal? Of course, Peppa. Hooray! <laughs> it is early morning. Mr. Zebra the postman is delivering a letter to Peppa's house. Peppa and George love it when the post arrives. It's addressed to Miss Peppa Pig. That's me. <coughs> Mummy, can you read it for me? Of course. It's from Delphine Donkey. My pen pal. <laughs> what does she say? Bonjour, Peppa. Comment ça va? Mummy, why are you saying those funny words? It's French, Peppa. It means hello. How are you? What else does she say? Hmm. I'll help. James les princesses et jouer avec mes amis. <laughs> Clever, Daddy. <laughs> I am an expert at French. What does it mean? Um. Daddy Pig cleans his glasses. 
so he can see the letter more clearly. Hmm. It's no good. It's nonsense. It means I like fairy princesses and playing with my friends. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk French. Maybe you could talk to Delphine Donkey. How? Her phone number is on this letter. Yippee! <laughs> Bonjour. Est-il possible que Peppa parle à Delphine? Mummy Pig is asking if Peppa may speak to Delphine. Hello. Bonjour. Bonjour. Um, what do I say next? Comment ça va? Comment ça va? <laughs> bye bye. Au revoir. Au revoir. What did she say? She spoke French. <coughs> Bonjour, George. Comment ça va? Peppa is saying, how are you, in French. Dinosaur. No, George. That's not how you speak French. <laughs> it is morning. Mr. Zebra the postman is delivering letters to Peppa's house. Post! Hooray! Can I have my letter from Delphine, please? Sorry, Peppa. There's no letter for you today. I wonder who that could be. Bonjour, I am Delphine Donkey. <coughs> oh, I have come to see Peppa. It's Delphine. Bonjour. <coughs> Bonjour, Peppa. <coughs> oh, here are my mama and papa and my brother Didier. Bonjour. <coughs> oh. Here are my mummy and daddy and my little brother George. Hello. Hello. <coughs> Dinosaur. <coughs> Dragon. <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> Do you speak French, Mr. Pig? I'm an expert at French. Ah, pardon, sport. J'adore l'équipe de foot de Paris. Quelle est votre équipe de foot préférée? Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Delphine, we could jump up and down in muddy puddles. Delphine does not understand Peppa. J'adore sauter dans les flaques de boue. Peppa does not understand Delphine. Everything's so Different in French, Daddy. Oh, come on, Peppa! <laughs> J'adore sauter dans les flaques de boue. Ah, that's what I was going to show you. We call it jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> oh, J'adore jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone in the whole world loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Peppa and George are playing at Granny and Grandpa's house today. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Papa Egg. Oh, ho. hello, Peppa. Hello, George. Bye-bye. <laughs> See you later. See you later. <coughs> Where's Granny Pig? Hello, my little ones. That is Granny Pig's voice. But where is she? Granny Pig. <coughs> Here I am. Granny Pig. Gangy Egg. Why is Granny in the roof? We're tidying the attic. What's the attic? It's where we keep all our old things. Like you, Grandpa Pig. Ha ha! Things that are even older than me. <laughs> Can we help? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Granny and Grandpa's attic is at the very top of the house. That's the door to the attic. How do we get up there? I have a clever trick. Hello, my little ones. It's Granny. Come on up. Ooh. <laughs> this is our attic. Wow. It's very full. Yes, it's full of old junk. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George are here to help us throw some things out. Good. Let's start by throwing out this box. Oh, not that box. Do we really need this? That's my ship in a bottle. And this? That's my other ship in a bottle. And these? They're my other ships in bottles. I need them all. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have to throw something out. Uh, how about this box? No! Not my hats! 
<laughs> oh dear, we can't decide what to throw out. I know. We'll let Pepper and George decide. Okay. <laughs> Let's throw away this old case. Oh, oh not, not that, that one. one. This isn't just any old case. It's a record player. Ooh. And this was our favourite record. Can we play it? Yes. Oh, oh, we haven't heard it for years. <laughs> Takes me back. <laughs> Come on, Pepper and George. Let's dance. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig is here to pick up Pepper and George. Hello. Where are you? Mummy Pig can't find anyone. What's that noise? <laughs> No, we've been dancing to Granny and Grandpa's favourite record. Yes, huh? Granny and Grandpa played it all the time. Ooh, and here's the record I used to play when I was a little piggy. What is it? It's called Birdie Birdie Woof Woof. Not Birdie Birdie Woof Woof. You were always playing that. I thought we'd thrown that out ages ago. The birds go woof, and the dogs go tweet. Woof, tweet, woof, tweet, woof, woof, woof. The sheep go moo, and the cows go ba. Moo, ba, woof, tweet, woof, ba, moo, tweet, woof, woof, woof. Again, again. The birds go woof, and the dogs go tweet. Woof, tweet, woof, tweet, woof, woof, woof. The sheep go moo, and the cows go ba. Moo, ba. <laughs> that was fun, but we were supposed to be finding some things to throw out. Pepper, what should we throw out and what should we keep? Hmm, I think you should keep everything. <laughs> <laughs> the coral. Pepper and Susie Sheep are playing snap. Snap! I win. <laughs> Pepper and Susie are best friends. <laughs> snap! I win again. <laughs> you cheated. I did not. You looked at the card. I did not. I don't want to play with you any more. <laughs> I don't want to play with you any more. <laughs> Oh dear! Pepper and Susie have had a quarrel. Mummy Sheep is here to take Susie home. Pepper, say bye bye to Susie. I am not talking to her, and I'm not talking to her. Oh, <laughs> I'm sure they'll make it up. They are best friends, really. It is not funny. We are not best friends anymore. <laughs> Daddy Pig is making supper. Peppa, George, supper time. It's spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter, Peppa? Peppa and Susie have had a little quarrel. Oh. But I do miss Susie a bit. Hmm. Let's give Susie a call. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Pig. May Peppa talk with Susie, please? Hello, Susie. Hello, Peppa. We can be friends again, if you say sorry. I'm sorry I said you cheated, even though you did cheat. Well, I'm sorry you were ever my best friend. Oh. It doesn't matter. I can easily find a new best friend. It is a lovely sunny day. All the children are at the playground. Danny Dog is on the roundabout with his best friend Pedro Pony. George is on the seesaw with his best friend Richard Rabbit. Seesaw, seesaw. <laughs> Susie Sheep is on the swings, on her own. Pepper is playing mini golf on her own. 
Here is Emily Elephant. Can I have a go? Yes! <laughs> Emily, Susie Sheep is not my best friend anymore. So you can be my best friend. But my best friend is Candy Cats. Oh. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> Wee! Zoe, if you want, you can be my best friend. But my best friend is Rebecca Rabbit. Oh. Wee! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Susie. Hello, Peppa. Ah, good. I see you two are friends again. We are not friends. We will never be friends again. Hmm. I think it's about time you two made it up. Peppa, say sorry to Susie. Only if she says sorry first. Only if she says sorry first. I know. I'll count to three, and you can both say sorry at the same time. All right. One, two... Three. Sorry. Now you can be best friends again. Hooray! <laughs> Susie, let's play mini golf. Good idea. Peppa and Susie are best friends again. Me first. My go. My ball went in the hole. So I win. But my ball knocked it in. So I win. You're just making the rules up. You are making the rules up. I win. No, I win. <laughs> you two are just the same. <laughs> That's why Susie's my best friend in the whole world. <laughs> and Peppa is my best friend in the whole world ever. <laughs> The toy cupboard. It is Pepper and George's bedtime. <laughs> Goodness me! Why are all these toys on your bed? That's where they live. Quickly, put the toys away in your toy basket. But the toy basket is full. Oh, so it is. Maybe you need a toy cupboard. Yes, I could make one tomorrow. The last thing you made, Daddy Pig, was this shelf. I'm very proud of that shelf. But, Daddy, it's all wobbly. We use it as a slide for Teddy and Mr. Dinosaur. <laughs> oh, all right, let's buy a new toy cupboard. We can buy one now on the computer. Hooray! <laughs> Mummy Pig is using the computer to buy a toy cupboard. Aha! Uh -huh. Now, which one shall we get? Can we have this one, please? That looks perfect. Mummy Pig is buying the toy cupboard. Congratulations. Your toy cupboard is ordered. Oh, goody. <laughs> it is morning, and Mr. Zebra the Postman has a special delivery. Post! <laughs> special delivery for Miss Pepper Pig and Master George. What is it? It's a toy cupboard. Oh, it looks a bit flat. Yes, you built it yourself. Oh. Don't worry, Pepper. It'll be very easy for your mummy and daddy to build. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Now what do we do? Now we build your toy cupboard. Yes. <laughs> That's strange. There aren't any instructions. Maybe it's so easy to build, it doesn't need instructions. Mummy, can we help? Yes. First, I need a shelf. <laughs> Here's a green shelf. Thank you, Peppa. Now I need four legs. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Four blue legs, Mummy. Lovely. We'll have this done in no time. Here's a red door, Mummy Pig. Thank you, Daddy Pig. There. Finished. Well done, Mummy Pig. It's very tiny. How will all our toys fit inside? It is a little small. <coughs> oh, George has found another bit. Uh, maybe that's a spare shelf. And there's all of these bits too. Oh dear, the cupboard is tiny because Mummy Pig has not used all the pieces. We'll just have to take it apart and start again. Oh no. If only we had the instructions. 
Who can that be? Hello, I've just found this in my van. It's the missing instructions. That will make things a lot easier. Hooray! <laughs> the instructions look very complicated. It's no good. It's nonsense. Leave it to me, Daddy Pig. I quite enjoy putting these things together. Really? Can we help in any way? You can put the kettle on. I'll have a nice cup of tea. With six sugars, please. Everyone is preparing tea and biscuits for Mr Zebra. Tea time, Mr Zebra. Wow! Mr Zebra has built the toy cupboard. My goodness, that was quick. Yes, and I've put all your toys in there too. Ooh! Thank you, Mr Zebra. <laughs> but there's no room for these last two. Oh, poor Teddy and Mr Dinosaur. Where are they going to live? Why not simply order another easy-to-make cupboard? No! I've got a better idea. Teddy and Mr Dinosaur can live on your beds. But, Mummy, that's where they lived before. Yes, I know. That's why it's such a good idea. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> School cat. Peppa and her friends are going on a school camp. <laughs> Madam Gazelle, I don't feel very well. The bus is very bumpy. Oh dear, Pedro Pony is feeling a bit travel sick. Poor Pedro. Come and sit in the front with me. <laughs> there. Is that better? A little bit. Madam Gazelle. Oh, do you feel sick too, Zoe? I might feel sick later. Can I sit at the front just in case? Can I sit at the front too? And, and me! me. Oh, oh. I'm sorry, children. You can't all sit at the front. Oh, never mind. We're at the campsite now. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Happy camping, everyone. Bye-bye. This is our campsite. Breathe in the wonderful fresh air, children. <gasps> Excellent breathing. Now let's put up our tents. Peppa and her friends are putting up their tents. <laughs> children. You must each find a partner to share your tent. Susie, shall we share a tent? <laughs> I said I'd share with Zoe. Oh, sorry, Susie. I said I'd share with Rebecca. Rebecca, you said you'd share with me. Oh, yes. <laughs> Emily, who are you going to share a tent with? Um, Zoe. OK, good. Now you can share with me. OK. <laughs> <laughs> now I need sticks to make a campfire. We'll get sticks. But me and Pedro want to get sticks. Ha ha, you can all collect <laughs> sticks. Peppa and her friends collect sticks for the campfire. <laughs> Wonderful. It is night time. Peppa and her friends are sitting around the campfire. Children, let's all sing a song. Yes! The Bing Bong song, please. Oh, I'm not sure. Please, please Madam, Madam Gazelle, sing, sing the Bing Bong, bong song. song. All right. Ooh, we're playing a tune and we're singing a song with a bing and a bong and a bing. Now, children, time for bed. <laughs> Good night, children. Good night, Madam <laughs> Peppa and Susie are in their sleeping bags. I've got a torch. Me too. <laughs> Attention, children. No more giggling, please. What was 
is that funny noise? I don't know. There it is again. Susie, where are you going? Madam Gazelle. I'm a bit scared. Oh, would you like to come in? Yes, please. Madam Gazelle. I think I'm a bit scared too. Can I come in, please? Of course. <laughs> I think I might be scared later. I might be scared later too. And me. Come in, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Can we have the bing bong song, please? All right. We're playing a tune and we're singing a song with a bing and a bong and a bing. Captain Daddy Pig. Pepper and her family are borrowing Grandpa's boat for the day. Remember, Daddy Pig, push the lever forward to go forward. Aye, aye, Grandpa Pig. Forward. And back to go back. And back. Simple. And please look after my boat. I've just had it painted. Oh, Grandpa Pig, what an old fusspot you are. <laughs> <laughs> Are my crew ready? Yes, yes Captain, Captain Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. Then let's go. Oh, the boat is moving backwards. Ah! Watch out for the bridge. Oops. Oh, that was close. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Have a lovely time. I hope my boat comes back in one piece. Stop worrying. It will be fine. Emma. Ring the bell. Aye, aye, Captain Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit hungry. So am I. Grandpa's left us a picnic in the galley. What's a galley? A galley is a boat's little kitchen. Follow me. Pepper and George are going inside the boat. Wow. <laughs> what a tiny little kitchen. Where's the picnic? The obvious place would be here. Oh. <laughs> That's not the picnic. Then it must be here. And that's not a picnic. This kitchen has everything in the wrong place. Wow, TV. Daddy Pig cannot find the picnic. It's impossible. If this was my kitchen, the picnic would be here. Oh. Well done, Peppa. Peppa has found the picnic. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> oh, it's the ducks. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Duck. Would you like some bread? <laughs> Peppa and George love feeding bread to ducks. <laughs> Look out! Long reeds ahead. Don't worry. Grandpa's boat will easily go through them. Are we stuck? No, we can reverse. Now are we stuck? Yes. Oh dear, Grandpa's boat is stuck in the reeds. I'll just give it a little push. Do be careful, Daddy Pig. I know what I'm doing. When I say go, start the engine. Aye, aye, aye Captain, Captain Daddy, Daddy Pig. Go. <laughs> Daddy Pig has pushed the boat out of the reeds. Hooray! Quick, Daddy! Jump back on the boat! <laughs> oh, no! Daddy Pig is being left behind. Quick, the Daddy! Stop the engine! What's he saying? Stop the engine! Daddy says, stop the engine! Oh. Are you okay, Daddy Pig? Yes, I'm fine. But let's head for home before we have any more adventures. Aye, aye, aye Captain, Captain Daddy, Daddy Pig. They've been gone for ages. I hope my boat's all right. Look, there they are. Hello. Hello. Ahoy, Ahoy there. there. <laughs> I'll just park the boat. <laughs> you park a car, but you moor a boat. I'll show you. Grandpa Pig is going to moor the boat. The secret of mooring is to do it carefully. Mind the bridge! What? Look, Look behind, behind you. you! Ah! Oh, 
I didn't mean to do that. Grandpa has broken his boat. Never mind, Grandpa. You can have lots of fun mending it. It is true that I love mending things. Can I help mend the boat, Grandpa? Oh, ho, ho. of course you can, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> It is evening. Peppa and George are in the sitting room, dancing to their favourite song. Daddy Pig is in the hallway, vacuuming the carpet. And Mummy Pig is in her study, doing important work on her computer. Oh. 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 Mummy, Daddy, it's gone all dark. And the music is broken. And my vacuum won't work. And my computer has switched off. Ooh. Mummy Pig tries the light switch, but the lights do not come on. It must be a power cut. What's a power cut? A power cut is when there is no electricity. What's electricity? Electricity is what makes everything in our house work. Will the electricity come back again? Yes. <laughs> But in the meantime, we need to find a torch. I think there's a torch in the cellar. OK, I'll go and get it. Will you be OK, Daddy? Oh, oh, I'll be fine. I can see very well in the dark. Who put that there? Oh. Daddy, are you OK? Yes, it's just a bit dark down here. Oh, I just remembered. I think the torch is in the kitchen. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. Mummy Pig has found the torch. Can I hold the torch, Mummy? OK. <laughs> George, look at me. Peppa is making a funny face. <laughs> Don't worry, George. It's only Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'd better tell Daddy we found the torch. <laughs> Daddy is still in the cellar, looking for the torch. I'm sure it's here somewhere. Daddy, we found the torch. Luckily, it was in the kitchen all the time. What a stroke of luck. <laughs> now, we just have to wait until the electricity comes back. How long will that be, exactly? Um, I would say exactly... A long time. Oh, but George and I want to do some dancing. I know what we can do. We can watch some television. Oh, it won't go on. <laughs> <laughs> the TV needs electricity too. Does it? Yes. yes. Oh, now what are we going to do? In the olden days, when there was no television, children would have to make up their own games. Hmm. I know. I need a cardboard box. What is Peppa doing? <laughs> Mummy, will you cut a hole in this box for me? What for? You'll see. Mummy Pig is cutting a hole in the cardboard box. There you are, Peppa. Thank you. Now you all have to sit down there. And George, you have to point this torch at me. <laughs> it him. Welcome to Peppa Pig News with me, Peppa Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa has made her own television. Today, the whole world stopped working when there was a power cut. And all the electricity was lost. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Peppa. Daddy Pig says that the electricity won't be back for a long, long time. Oh! oh. The electricity is back. Hooray! Shush! I haven't finished yet. Switch the lights off. OK, Peppa. Good. Hit him. I have some very important news. The Queen has just found some more electricity and says that everyone can now be happy again. Very good, Peppa. Hooray! <laughs> That's done! Peppa quite enjoyed the power cut, but she's happy the electricity is back again. Bouncy ball!
Peppa and George are going to play in the garden with their ball. Whee! George throws the ball as high as he can and catches it. I can do that too. Whee! Oh. Peppa has missed the ball. <laughs> this is a silly game. <laughs> Here is Peppa's best friend, Susie Sheep. Susie has two tennis rackets. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. Let's play tennis. Yes, that sounds fun. To you, Susie. Oh. Susie has missed the ball. <laughs> oh. Peppa has missed the ball. <laughs> Peppa and Susie like playing tennis. But George feels a bit left out. Oh, sorry, George. You can't play tennis. We only have two rackets. <laughs> I know. George can be the ball boy. Yes, it's a very important job. George is going to be the ball boy. He has to collect the ball when it is hit too far. To you, Susie. Oh. Ball boy! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, ball boy. Oh, ball boy! <laughs> Thank you, ball boy. Ball boy! Oh dear. George doesn't like this game. Here are Danny Dog, Pedro Pony, Candy Cat, Rebecca Rabbit and Richard Rabbit. Hello everyone. Hello. Hello. We're playing tennis. Can we play too? But there aren't enough rackets. Oh. oh. Let's play something else. Let's play football. Yes, football. Girls against boys. <laughs> we each need a goalkeeper. Me, 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 me. Pedro Pony and Rebecca Rabbit will be the goalkeepers. We'll start. <laughs> Richard Rabbit has scored a goal. The boys are winning. <laughs> That's not fair. We weren't ready. <laughs> hey, that's cheating. You can't hold the ball. Yes, I can. I'm the goalkeeper. Go, Rebecca. Go. Goal. Hooray. The goal is not allowed. Yes, it is. No, no it, it isn't. isn't. Yes, yes, it is. is. No, what it a isn't. lot of noise. Daddy. The boys are cheating. No, the girls are cheating. It sounds like you need a referee. What's a referee? It's someone who makes sure that everyone plays fair. I'll be the referee. Me, 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 me. I'll be the referee. The next team to get a goal will win the game. Hooray! Where's the ball? <laughs> <laughs> goal! Richard Rabbit has scored a goal. Hooray! The boys win. Oh. Oh. Football is a silly game. Just a moment. The boys scored in their own goal. That means the girls win. Really? Hooray! Football is a great game. <laughs> <laughs> Stars. It is almost time for bed. Mummy Pig, Daddy Pig and Pepper are having mugs of hot milk. <laughs> George, why are you dressed up in that space suit? You should be in your pyjamas. <laughs> George loves everything to do with space. Oh. <laughs> George, take your space helmet off to drink your milk. 
<laughs> Bedtime, little ones. <laughs> At night, George likes to listen to his space mobile. Not space again. <sighs> it's boring. Space isn't boring. It's full of stars. I can't see anything. It's too dark. It's easier to see the stars from outside. Can we go outside now? Peppa, you're in your pyjamas. Maybe if you put your coats on over your pyjamas, we could go outside just this once. Hooray! <laughs> Daddy, why are you lying on the ground? This is the best way to see the stars. <laughs> Look at these little stars. Imagine you are joining the dots. That's called the Big Dipper. Ooh. Yes, and the two stars at the end point to the North Star. Wow! North Star, North Star, are you near or are you far? Can we get there in the car? <laughs> no, Pepper. The stars are much too far away. Are they even further than the seaside? Oh, yes. But they look a lot closer through a telescope. Have we got a telescope? <coughs> no, but Grandpa Pig has a very good telescope. Can we go to Grandpa Pig's house now? <laughs> it's much too late. <coughs> Maybe we can go just this once, Daddy Pig. Hooray! It is the first time Pepper and George have been in the car at night. <coughs> look, we're following the North Star. <laughs> North Star, North Star, shining with a twinkly glow. Please show us the way to go. <laughs> Pepper and George have arrived at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Oh dear, I do hope Grandpa and Granny Pig haven't gone to bed. <laughs> What are you doing here at this hour? We want to see the stars. Pepper and George were hoping they could look through your telescope. I see. Very well. To the top of the house, everyone. <laughs> here she is, old Bess. Wow. Grandpa Pig's hobby is looking at the stars. Now. Who's for the first look? Me, me, me! Ooh, the North Star! We sailors use it to find our way home. Daddy used it to find his way here. <laughs> <laughs> Are there other things in the sky? Yes, this is a planet called Saturn. Wow, what are those pretty rings? They are made of rock and ice. Saturn is very, very cold. We could build a snowman, George. <laughs> 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 Quick, look. Oh. It's a shooting star. You must make a wish. I wish that when George is old enough to have his own rocket, he will take me into space. <laughs> Daddy Pig's birthday. Today is Daddy Pig's birthday. Daddy Pig has to go to work. Daddy, I wish you didn't have to work on your birthday. <laughs> so do I. But I'll be home as soon as I can. See you later. See you later. <laughs> While Daddy Pig is at work, we can get all his birthday surprises ready. <laughs> First, we'll make Daddy's birthday cake. We start with butter and sugar and flour. Then we add an egg. And most important of all, the chocolate bits. Ooh. Mummy Pig is making a chocolate cake. Daddy Pig loves chocolate cake. I give it a stir. Mummy, can I stir? Yes, Peppa. Peppa loves stirring. George wants to go. <laughs> <laughs> OK, George, that's enough stirring. There, Daddy Pig's chocolate cake. Hooray!
Yay! <laughs> now, we just have to bake it in the oven. Mummy, can I lick the spoon? Yes, you can lick the spoon and George can lick the bowl. Yippee! Pepper and George love chocolate cake mixture. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Daddy Pig. He's missing all the fun. Mummy, can I ring Daddy at work and say happy birthday? That's a nice idea. This is the office where Daddy Pig works. Hello, Mr Rabbit speaking. May I speak to Daddy Pig, please? Someone for you, Daddy Pig. It sounds important. Hello, Daddy Pig speaking. Happy birthday, Daddy! <coughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> Thank you, Pepper. Don't be late home, Daddy. Bye-bye. <coughs> Bye-bye. Happy birthday, birthday Daddy, Daddy Pig! Pig. <laughs> Thank you. There's just one more thing to do before Daddy gets home. Yes, Daddy's birthday surprise. <laughs> Shh, George, remember, it's a secret. Shh. <laughs> Peppa and George have buckets of water. Mummy Pig has balloons. <laughs> I wonder what Daddy Pig's birthday surprise can be. <laughs> Daddy's home! Quick, back to the house. Daddy Pig is home from work. Happy birthday, Daddy Pig! <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Wow, what a lot of candles. That's because you are very, very old, Daddy. <laughs> You must blow out all your candles in one go. <laughs> I'll do my best. <gasps> Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> and here's your birthday present. Thank you. New boots. Fantastic. Let's try them out. Pepper, George and Mummy Pig are wearing their boots. <laughs> Daddy Pig is wearing his birthday boots. Daddy Pig has found a little puddle. Let's see if these boots work. The puddle is a bit too little for Daddy Pig. Hmm, what I need is a big puddle. <laughs> Why not try over here, Daddy Pig? <laughs> oh, what's this? It's your special birthday surprise. <laughs> shh, shh. <laughs> what are they up to? A big muddy puddle. Fantastic! <laughs> my birthday boots work perfectly. Would you care to join me in my birthday muddy puddle? <laughs> Daddy Pig loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. This is my best birthday ever. <laughs> sleepover. It is night time. Peppa is going to a sleepover at Zoe Zebra's house. <laughs> Hello, Zoe. Hi, Peppa. Welcome to my sleepover. I'll pick you up in the morning. Bye-bye, Peppa. Bye. <laughs> Rebecca, Susie and Emily are already here. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa. I've got my teddy. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Zoe has her toy monkey. Oh, oh, oh. Emily has her frog. <laughs> Susie has her owl. twit -twoo. And Rebecca has her carrot. Carrot, carrot. <laughs> <laughs> Mr Zebra is watching television. <laughs> Better. I was watching that. But it was a bit boring, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy Zebra is going to bed now. He has to get up early to deliver the post. Very well, Mummy Zebra. Don't stay up too late. Good night, Mummy. Peppa and her friends are getting into their sleeping bags. <laughs> Zoe's baby twin sisters, Zuzu and Zaza, want to join the sleepover too. The sleepover is only for big girls. Oh, they're so sweet and little. Can they stay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
but you must promise you'll stay awake. We promise. <laughs> <laughs> wow, a piano. I'm having lessons. Listen. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Can I have a go? And me. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Shush. You must be quiet so Daddy Zebra can sleep. Now, into your sleeping bags, please. What do we do now? On sleepovers, there's always a midnight feast. What's a midnight feast? We eat things in secret. Ooh! Ooh. I know where there's food, but we must be very quiet. <laughs> Susie, shh, Peppa, quiet. Mummy Zebra has woken up. We're going to have the best midnight feast ever. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? You'll wake Daddy Zebra. Now, who knows a nice, gentle bedtime story? Me and me. I'll start. Once upon a time, there was a little fairy. Now your turn, Peppa. And she lived in the forest. She was very pretty, and she had a fairy wand. Lovely. Your turn, Emily. Tell us what happens next. Well, I'm not really sure. Just say anything, Emily, as long as it's not boring. Okay. The little fairy met a big monster who went. Hey, you scary! <laughs> What's all this noise? Oh dear! The noise has woken Mr. Zebra. Sorry, Daddy. There was a story about a fairy and a scary monster, and we want to know what happens next. Very well. <coughs> The monster lifted up his big hairy paw、oh. and walked along on his big hairy feet.、Ooh. And he said, "Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are." Mr. Zebra's song has sent everyone to sleep. Today. It is very cold today. Peppa and George are wearing their hats, scarves, coats, mittens, and boots. <laughs> Look, George, the trees haven't got leaves. In the winter time, the trees lose their leaves. <laughs> Peppa and George have found a muddy puddle. Ooh! Peppa and George love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> It is so cold the puddle has turned to ice. It is very slippery. <laughs> It's not funny. <laughs> Here are Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig. Oh, good! A muddy puddle. Daddy Pig loves jumping in muddy puddles. Stop, Daddy! <laughs> <gasps> <laughs> That was close. Lucky I've got such a good sense of balance. <laughs> Daddy. The puddles are icy today. We can't jump in them. Never mind. Let's feed some bread to the ducks. Hooray! <laughs> Peppa and George love feeding the ducks. <laughs> Hello, ducks. We've got some bread for you. <laughs> the ducks like bread. <laughs> oh! It is so cold. The pond has frozen to ice. <laughs> The ice is very slippery. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for laughing, Mrs. Duck, but it did look quite funny. It is starting to snow. Snow! <laughs> Pepper and George love snow. George, let's catch snowflakes. <laughs> Pepper and George are catching snowflakes.
George has caught a snowflake. <laughs> Peppa has caught a snowflake. <laughs> Here is Susie Sheep on her toboggan. Whee! <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Wow! Susie, that looks fun. <laughs> We're all tobogganing on the big hill. There's lots of snow there. <laughs> Shall we climb up the big hill and watch the tobogganing? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa's friends are tobogganing on the big hill. Wee! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> what? Oh dear! George has slipped on the hill. You look funny, George. <laughs> George does not think it is funny. It's quite easy to slip on the hill. Maybe I should carry George. Daddy, can you carry me too? <laughs> All right, Peppa. Just be careful you don't slip over, Daddy Pig. <laughs> don't worry, Mummy Pig. Remember, I've got an excellent sense of balance. <laughs> 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 Have a race! Yes. yes! Ready, steady, go! Here we are, the top of the big hill. Do be careful you don't slip, Daddy Pig. <laughs> I'm not going to slip. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Daddy is like a big toboggan! <laughs> <laughs> we are going to win the race! Hooray! Peppa and George are the winners. Well done, Peppa! My daddy makes a very good toboggan. <laughs> it's not funny. It is a bit funny, Daddy Pig. Hmm. I suppose it is quite funny. <laughs> <laughs>